David, since the draw was made, have you been looking forward to this one for a while? Yeah, I think everybody has. Uh, when, when the draw came out, it was one of the ones we were looking for. I think some in there too. We maybe thought there were fans here tonight, which would have been a better occasion. But tonight, it's live on Premier Sports, and it's going to be a, a tough game, a game we're all looking forward to. Does the derby element add to what is already a very close group? Yeah, I think so. I think it's been a, it's probably the toughest group in the Betfred uh, group stages. I think you got five full-time teams in it. We always knew it was going to be tough. Uh, also, the Queen of South winning last night, they went top of the group. So, it's a, it's a game that we came here and we're going to try and win it tonight. And as I said, it's, it's, it's a game that, uh, as you say, anybody can still qualify in this league. So, it is tough, but we're looking forward to tonight. A few surprises in your team, I think five changes in all. Talk us through your selections tonight. Yeah, I just thought uh, we're coming to a Premier League team. Uh, Jim's got them organised. We watched them against Dundee United. Uh, they're going to be big, physical, put a lot of balls in your box. And I just thought tonight was a was a game for maybe going to be a bit more uh, defensive tonight. Still got a lot of legs going forward. And uh, as I said, we can use the five subs, which I've got a good bench. We've got a lot of young players who are desperate on the pitch, I'm sure, tonight. How much of a loss are the lack of fans tonight? Yeah, I think it's. I think it, Jim will probably say the same. I think... St Mirren and Morton and fans here tonight would have been fantastic. I think, as I say, when, when the, there's always made, we thought there would be fans here. But they say it's on TV, and I'm sure every Morton St Mirren fan will still be uh, edging their team and hoping they get three points tonight. David, good luck. Thanks very much.